Hey, welcome back guys. So I've been getting some inquiries, some emails uh, from some of you subscribers on if I can make a video on how I like to use the Hoagie Swimming Jack while I fish and how I uh, use the Bugs Lure, the Trout Thumper with the Hoagie Swimming Jack trailer attached to the end. How I also use that when I fish. There's three specific methods that I actually employ while I'm fishing and you can use this application while you're kayak fishing, you're bank fishing, wade fishing, at the jetties, whatever, it really works everywhere. And these three methods are number one, your straight retrieve. Number two, a straight retrieve with an occasional twitch, random one to two twitches. And my third way that I like to use the paddle tail is drag it on the ground, or what they say is bounce it off the ground. So let me show you a demonstration on how I do these three methods. I use these methods 100% of the time while I'm fishing and it really works for me so I hopefully it works for you guys it might not work for you guys but it works for me so let's get to it all right guys so the first method that I like to employ while I fish and honestly this is the method I actually use the most I would say probably at least 80 percent of the time while I'm fishing it's a straight retrieve that's it really simple the hoagies paddle tail has so much action especially the swimming jack it just makes fishing and especially in a straight retrieve very easy so without further ado, let me just go and cast it over there and let me show you guys. So here we go. It's a straight retrieve. As you can see, look at the action of this paddle tail. Hopefully you guys can see this in the water. Um, it's just a straight retrieve, very simple. Nothing to it, nothing scientific, straight retrieve. Um, and this is the difference though. This is where I'll use a different um, speed, a different cadence. Sometimes I'll go fast like this to make it stay above the water column, especially if I am fishing uh, on an oyster bed. Sometimes I'll just make it go slower so it actually covers the middle part of the water column and it still has that crazy action. Check it out guys. This is a slow retrieve and it's just staying right in the middle of the water column. The pool is about three feet deep. And um, yeah, man, it works, man. It catches a lot of fish. I really hope this is helping you guys straight retrieve. That's, like I said, this is a majority, majority of the time, this is what I like to use while I fish. And it's very effective because of the movement the Hoagie Swimming Jack has underwater. And if you want, you can make, make it even go slower and it still has that movement. Check it out. This is a very slow retrieve. So now that you've seen my favorite type of retrieve, which is absolutely the straight retrieve uh, using different speeds. Now let's move on to the second uh, retrieve that I like to use. And that's actually a retrieve with random twitches, random one to two twitches. Very, very simple, very effective. So I'll just cast over there and I'll retrieve and pop, 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 retrieve, pop. Let it sink a little bit, pop, pop. This is a great retrieve because it actually works different parts of the water column and um, it's very effective. Pop. Just random, let it drop, pop, pop, pop. I won't do more than two retrieves or two twitches uh, with, the, uh, with this method. Uh, I think two, one to two is good enough in my opinion. I've never had any issues. Um, I guess if you want to use three, I really don't see. When you use three, it's, it's kind of hard to get that rhythm. So I just use one, let it drop, retrieve a little bit twice. That that looks like an injured bait fish to the fish, to the uh, especially redfish, and um, they seem to really like this retrieve a lot as well with the straight retrieve. And this is the second most used retrieve that I like to use with a paddle tail. Very very effective. Never had any issues with it. Uh, works great in all different types of water depth and clarity. And um, like I said, one of my favorite retrieves along with the straight retrieve. Lastly, the last retrieve that I like to employ while I'm fishing is actually bouncing it on the bottom. And this is a little bit different. I don't use it much because when I kayak fish, we're always usually targeting oyster beds and <laughs> bouncing it, bouncing this hoagie's uh, swimming jack on an oyster bed on the ground, you're a good chance you're going to lose it. So I don't really use it that much, but when it's a muddy, muddy bottom and I'm like hitting drains, I know there's not really oyster there or that many, there are that many 
different types of structure I will use this method because it's really effective with flounder so what I'll do is I'll just throw it out there just wait till it hits the ground I can feel it I'm just bouncing it off the ground like that hopefully you guys can see this on the water and then I'll just drag it along sometimes I'll keep my tip of my pole down and then keep bouncing it like that and this is a more of a slow type fishing um, especially if you're just really specifically working the drain it really works well so just let it bounce on the ground pop just let it work like that just dragging it on the ground very very simple very effective and um, yeah I'll do it at different speeds I'll make it look like it's just bouncing on the ground like that or I'll just let it sit for a minute or not even a minute a few seconds twitch it and it still has that crazy action on that tail I really hope you guys can see this underwater because I kind of try to set the cameras up the best I could There you go. It's bouncing nicely on that ground. In order for this to work, you have to keep your rod tip down once again. All right, guys. Now it's time to demonstrate the Trout Thumper by Bugs Lure. I got this a little wet. I apologize, but I don't know if you can really see this, but all this right here is fur. Um, not only do you have the action from the paddle tail, but you also have the action from the fur. So same thing, honestly, guys. There's no really special way to fish this. The three method that I recommend, it's going to be the same for the hoagie paddle tail is number one, a straight retrieve, uh, which you, you know, mix it up with different speeds so you can cover different parts of the water column. Number two is going to be the straight retrieve with the occasional one to two twitch. And number three is just to, you know, work it on the ground, bounce it on the floor uh, with occasional twitch and it works every single time. Hopefully you guys can see this um, on the water and you can see the fur. The, the rabbit fur is absolutely awesome. That's what makes these bugs lure so effective is the fur and how it just pulsates in the water. It just makes it look so realistic and you can actually just leave it on the ground. Um, if you just leave it on the ground, it's still, even though the paddle tail is not moving, the fur is moving with the current. So that makes it look pretty darn cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and start off. So here's just straight retrieve. Same thing as the Hoagie's paddle tail. Uh, straight retrieve with the trout thumper. Works just as well as the Hoagie's paddle tail because well, it's kind of like the Hoagie's paddle tail with steroids. <laughs> Notice like in the winter time um, that the Bugs trout thumper actually is really effective in the winter time. I don't know if that action with that fur is really triggering the bite with the uh, lethargic fish but it really does help let's talk about the second method which is the um, retrieve with occasional twitch and let me show you some demonstrations so I'm just going to retrieve it twitch retrieve it twitch twitch retrieve twitch and man I'm really hoping that these cameras on the water is able to catch uh, the movement of this lure because it's freaking awesome it really works it really mimics a injured bait fish and gosh i caught so many fish using this lure and using these different methods so last method that we're going to show you today is the letting it hit the bottom of the ground and giving it a uh, jerks and dragging it on the ground just letting it hop on the ground like a rabbit and it's very effective that paddle tail mixed with that rabbit fur really helps um, this lure a lot. Really, really helps it. I actually like to use it. Oh, I caught a leaf. I like to use it um, when the bite is really slow. It's just, man, it's, it's very effective. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for today. I really hope this video really helps you guys out to catch a lot of fish. Like I said, I've used these three, this three method with the hoagie swimming jack as well with the bugs trout thumper with the hoagies trailer i've caught many redfish i've caught trout i've caught flounder using all these different methods i try to keep it simple for you guys so hopefully this really helps you out and really boosts your learning curve and you're able to catch more fish if you like this video guys hit that like button if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button look around look at my other videos look at the playlists i've created especially with the bugs and hoagies and just look at all the fish i've been catching man it really works 
And guys, oh, I will bring out another video soon on how I like to use the bugs curl tail as well with the bugs clickbait with the same demonstration in the water. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time, all right?